guys. I got you, I got you, I got you. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, hello. Welcome. And first of all, I want to make sure all of you can hear me, okay? Um, can you guys hear me? Yes. Do a thumbs up if you can. Hi. Um, all right. First of all, I hope you guys and your loved ones are staying safe and healthy. I'm thinking of all of you and sending so much love. Um, second of all, welcome back to another episode of Self Isolate with B. Um, I've missed you guys the last few days. Um, Sunday was Easter and, um, you know, I think for me, I just wanted you guys to have that time with your family and I have been, I've tried to be as transparent as possible, um, on these lives. Um, and I think for me, the last few days just mentally have been a little bit harder than usual. And so, um, I've, I've loved going live and it brings me such joy, but the last few days I've just kind of felt a bit more all over the place than usual. And so I just wanted to take that time to, you know, pray and virtually talk to my family since we're all isolating. Um, but I'm thrilled to be back. Um, as I know, I do have a new puppy. Uh, as of two hours ago, I'm now fostering a new little one. Um, name to be decided. He goes by Teddy, but I'm thinking I like Buster. I'm not sure, but he is available for adoption um, soon. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, but in terms of today's news, I could not be more thrilled to have uh, McKenna Grace on um, this live today. I honestly have been watching her work since I think she started um, and have countless, countless, countless times turned to my mom and my family and just been like, she is a force to be reckoned with and so good and I'm so excited for the life that she has ahead of her and all that she's gonna do. So um, I kind of feel like her big sis, but um, sad I think McKenna wants a pup, I know. Um, but I'm going to bring her on and she's the best. Um, so let's see if she's on and free. Yay! Oh my god! Hi! I love your dog so much! Do you love <laughs> It's so tiny! I know, it's He's so little! He's kind of asleep right now, but hold on. <laughs> I know. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I know. We'll FaceTime <laughs> after this so you can, like, properly, properly, properly I'm... meet him. But I'm, oh, like, gosh. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> but it's so small. It's so, so, so small. Um, oh, my first gosh. Of all, I love the lights on the back and the Polaroids. Thank you. I just Definitely. got them. Your hair <laughs> looks beautiful. I look like such a Thank mess. you. I no, look. I washed my hair for, like, the first time in forever yesterday, so. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is, like, because we always have stuff on our hair for work, like, it probably is so good that you're not touching it. Like, in quarantine, it it's probably going to be so much healthier because we, like, it's been growing out so on it all the time. Yes, exactly. Yes, it feels like every time throughout my life, my hair has been finally growing out. Everybody's just, like, chopped it off again. So this has been so much fun. Oh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. What did you say? You froze. You're back now. Oh, <laughs> um, like, every time it starts to grow out, people just chop it off again. I so know. now it's like, I can finally put it in a ponytail. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Um, you'll get like me, I feel like at one point, which is because my hair has always had to change. I'm now never comfortable with what it is. Like I wake up and I'm like, it needs to be cut. And then the next day I'm like, I just wish I had longer. hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's so back and forth, but, um, I'm so happy that you're doing this. And I'm I was so texting happy. with your mom who I love so much. <laughs> and, um, and she was like, yes, for sure. Like, because I was like, okay, I'm so happy because I love you. Yeah, um, I love you. I'm so excited because, like, I feel like forever, like, I've always, like, looked up and watched your work and stuff. Sweet. But, like, I feel like you and Shirley Temple are, like, the two child actresses that I looked up to throughout my career. And so it's, like, so exciting. Oh, you my know, God. Like, finally, I like, die. Well, do this. I will, I will turn the tables around and say to you that I remember when I saw you in, in Gifted. Sorry, I'm so loud. When I saw you against it, I turned to my mom and I was like, I want to be McKenna when I grow up. Like, <laughs> I literally said that because you're so good and and you genuinely like 
you remind me so much of myself, a better version of myself for sure, a way better version. But like, there's so many qualities about you that I was like, I was like, I just want to be her friend and like, be like her big sis if she wants. And I remember I said that to your mom. I was like, I just love her so much. And she's Thank so you. good. And I, I'm just so excited for you. Um, <laughs> but I thought we could answer some questions. Um, and they usually type them in. Um, the question box lately has been like making the lives freeze. Um, which has been a little bit stressful for me. So instead of the Sorry. question box, oh no, no, you're good. Instead of the I'm gonna wipe box, off the guys, camera because this is my mom's phone and it has like a bit of stuff on the camera. Okay, that's better. I, um, do you want to see how how funny my setup is? Look, <laughs> it's a light and a waterfall. <laughs> I'm like, this is as like non fancy as it gets. I mean, um, I'm just sitting here with my phone stand Wait, and I have great. rice cake <laughs> oh that's I love rice cakes I love rice cakes um okay let's see someone said love hill house okay hold on let's see um all right we'll start easy <laughs> those are better for me what is the last movie you watched I don't even know oh I do know I just watched Notting Hill for the first time you need to see that movie. You would love it. I haven't heard of it before. It's Julia Roberts and um, uh, Hugh Grant, I want to say, maybe. Watch me butcher that. And it's about this actress who, like, falls in love with this guy in London. And That's cool. you'll love it. You should watch it with your mom. <laughs> okay. So I'm, like, to go through because, like, in the beginning of quarantine, I watched tons of movies, but now I haven't really been. I I've just, like, been watching cooking shows at night. Uh, that's not I love cooking. Wait, what cooking shows? Um, well, um, I've been watching Zumbo's Just Desserts every night okay. with a friend, and then like, um, I have also been watching the final table plate. Oh. I'm not sure, but it's like where they get together like a bunch of really amazing chefs and stuff. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> have you, um, have you ever watched Chopped? I feel. I feel it like that's the one that I watch whenever I'm in hotels. Yes, that is what you watch. <laughs> and I know that's what you watch because that's what I used to watch in hotels because it's always on. Um, we need to get you watch. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. My mom was like, you just watched Black Panther. And I was like, yes, oh, okay. okay. Yes, I just oh, started yeah. Black Panther. <laughs> um, I haven't seen it yet. Isn't that crazy? I know. I I didn't get all the way through it because I had to go to bed. I know. Well, I get that. I um. I said to my friend the other day, um, she's my best friend, Paige. I've known her since I was like seven. Um, mm -hmm. And she called me and I always call her like throughout the day. She's always like, you know, kind of working out or whatever. At midnight is when she decides that she wants to talk. But at like 930 for me is like, I'm ready for bed. So the other night I called her and I was like, honestly, you need to call me before midnight. If you want me to like absorb anything that you're saying. <laughs> So That's I hilarious. Somebody I've been talking with, like, it, have, we've been talking every night at, like, midnight. The, yeah. Just the past two days, I've been trying to get on a schedule, because throughout quarantine, Me I've too. been up until, like, 3 a.m. every night, and it's been so bad. I've been sleeping in until, like, 3 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> it's intense. <laughs> and so, like, I've just been trying to get on a schedule, get in bed at 11, go yeah. to bed by 12, that's good. That's that's kind of honestly, that's what I'm on. So you're doing it. You're doing great. Although I think my schedule is going to be a little different now with this guy. I think uh, I think he might be waking me up. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, this is a cute one. So um, you were once upon a time. Yes, I was. So were you? <laughs> yes. um, so maybe we can. Do you have a memory from there that you would want? And I'll share a memory from mine, too. Is there, like, a yes. moment that you remember? I do remember a moment. Okay. Hold on. I love you so much. This. Hold on. I have to get something. Okay. Here we go. I have Dee Dee, and I, <gasps> snu and, I, and I got him into a bit of an episode, I feel like, once. You, you get Dee Dee in a lot. <laughs> I do. Dee Dee should have a sad card. He has an IMDb. Somebody made an IMDb for him, and it's yeah. just made my whole quarantine so much better. That is incredible. <laughs> Honestly, I'm Didi so should. Happy. Like, Designated Survivor, <laughs> wasn't Didi in that, too? Yes, he's been in, like... I loved you on that show. I see, I everything. <laughs> I love that show. Such a good show. 
Thank you. Oh. Um, yeah, I think you for sure probably got, I mean, a hundred percent Dee Dee was in there. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I, um, okay. I guess, I guess there's two. Um, there's so many memories because I loved it so much. The first one would be my first day of filming. Well, it was like, I hadn't filmed yet, but it was my first day for like costumes and hair and makeup tests and everything. And, um, Jennifer Goodwin, cause I was in Snow White, she has green eyes mm-hmm. and I have brown eyes. Um, and so I had two different colored contact lenses in and we were trying to match which one and they just weren't sure based off the of photos. And so they said, well, let's just go. Jenny's on a break right now. We'll just go down to the set and compare the eyes. And I'm like the biggest Jennifer Goodwin fan. Like <laughs> I love her so much. So I was like, <gasps> I was like, no. Way. And I remember I, my heart was so nervous. I was like trembling. I was like, I'm so excited to meet her. And she was like, she was like, hi, I'm Jenny. And, she, and it was in such a rush. They're like, you need to check the eyes. So she like put her face right here, you know? So I'm like, hello, and then, like checking the eyes. And she like looked at me and she was like, you are so beautiful. And I was like, you are beautiful. <laughs> perfect. Um, and I, oh gosh, I loved that. Like so, so, so much. Honestly, it was all like, I just had the time of my life on that show. Yeah, it's so much fun. Um, I have a memory like that from there because I remember I, I, I watched the show a bunch after being on an episode and then right. I wasn't on it for a while and I yeah. just binged the show yeah. and I loved Rumpelstiltskin and Belle and I remember getting to meet Rumpelstiltskin and I got so excited I was like oh. you know isn't that so funny like I think that was probably the first show that I genuinely was old enough to have been a fan of you know from mm-hmm. the beginning um because I had I had literally watched it from the first episode um, <laughs> And my mom took me to Florida because she wanted me to, like, take time, like, to go home and see everybody. And as a joke, I turned to my agents and I said, um, I said, yeah, mom says, like, no auditions, no nothing for a little bit. And I said, unless Once Upon a Time calls, then you can't. <laughs> so, and two days into my Florida, like, vacation back home, I got a call and they were like, Once Upon a Time just called. I was like, okay, let's do it. So I was like, I'm excited. Yeah. And I was like, gonna get up and look for this but my mom <laughs> brought it to me because she it. knows me too well but I got the fairy tale book out of it that because I, I remember I, I had a scene where I was reading it and I was like ripping out a bunch of pages and throwing it into the flame so there's like pa- it's of the course. one they used which was fun <laughs> that is brilliant it just like repeats the same stories over and over I love that they gave that to you I know because they had like tons of them because I ended up like tearing out all the pages yeah, yeah, every yeah. Scene. <laughs> oh that is amazing I am um, I need to like I need to do you find that you're able to take stuff usually from sets I mean like a fair amount like my mom's it really on. depends hi, mom. my mom <laughs> <laughs> she said hi girls mm. um because I I like I have stuff from British Terabithia Mm-hmm. I have, like, certain clothing cool. items, and Anna Sophia and Josh got the costume department to make, like, a fairy tale dress for me, and it was, like, a fairy oh, dress. So cool. And it was, like, pieces of my wardrobe throughout the scenes were, like, oh. sewn on. So I have that, cool. and I have, like, other little things, but I don't have something physical, like a like a book like that. Like, that's so cool. I mean, I, I love collecting things from sets. Like, yeah. I have, I'm sorry, I'm... I'm all over the place. No, you're not. Hard. It's perfect. Have... I would be the same way if I didn't have a puppy on my lap. I'd be jealous. I stole him from Annabelle. <laughs> he was one of the little, like, stuffed animals they had on set. And I have another one in my closet. That and they're so actually weird. vintage and stuff, <gasps> which is really fun. I don't know if I was supposed to take them, but I was like, guys, I'm taking these. I don't know if I'm allowed, but I'm going to. No one's going to. stopped me. So, no I mean, I have them now. now. And I have my glasses off of Ghostbusters, and admit that. I have the ones without lenses. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> in your in your mind, you have them. You might not actually have. Yeah, them. I don't actually have them. And what you want? You meant what you wanted to take was those glasses. Yes, that. But, but you just it. couldn't. It's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah. Maybe one day. It's sad. <laughs> don't get that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's so funny. All right, hold on. Let's see. Was Annabelle fun? Was that scary? Oh, it was so much fun. Um, 
it wasn't really that scary to me because like my right? whole life it's I've like been watching fun. horror movies yeah. uh, and my dad and I love horror movies and I've been watching them since I was like seven for some reason yeah. and I mean I was just really excited to get to do like a horror movie where I was like one of the main people in it because I haven't really done that before and I was so excited yeah. and it was fun because the man who played our demon was very very nice and he's so tall so you know you just have this really nice guy dressed up in demon prosthetics sitting there sipping a cup of tea and that so that's really how, fun that's how it was for strangers because there's these three <laughs> people mm -hmm. and I remember at the beginning of filming um Christina Hendricks played my mom and she was like one of the first the first scene basically that we had filmed was when like doll faces coming in to basically kill the both of us mm -hmm. and so everyone had this idea like let's not see doll face until we yell like, like until we start filming oh my so we went through all these like precautions to like make sure that we didn't see her oh gosh and coming out in rehearsal with the mask on and we think that she's filming so like christina gives it her all like it's incredible and then we realize at the end of it we're like oh that was rehearsal <laughs> so she had the mask on and from that moment on i was like you know what like i don't even care like and it was so funny she went from the first day trying to like keep it a secret to the last week of filming it was literally like he would have an axe the guy who played the man in the mask covered in blood <laughs> And I'd be like, how are your kids? And he was like, oh, God, I miss them so much. They're good. <laughs> and he just That's had these hilarious. normal conversations. Mm -hmm. It was so funny. But I, yeah. feel like, I feel like you and I are similar with, like, if we have to scream or cry or run, we love it. Like, Oh, my gosh, so it's so much fun. Yeah. It's my favorite I scenes to do. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, it's so fun. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, just something about it. It's so fun because, like, you know, you got to use your inside voice and stuff, but it's just fun to get to just scream I for no so apparent good. reason. I know. It's very <laughs> therapeutic. Very therapeutic. It, it is. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, was, was there yeah. another movie of The Strangers? Yeah, there was so ours okay. was the sequel to the one with Liv Tyler. Okay, I've seen yeah. the first one. Okay, because yeah. I was like, wait, I didn't know that she was in that. No, yeah, <laughs> so this was the sequel to it. So it's the same oh, cool. masked idea, just a different family. Uh -huh. oh, um, but that was the first time that I was really able to. I think it's one of, if not the most favorite thing I've ever done. Like the most fun thing oh, I, I had just yeah. loved it. Um, but it was the first time I did like all my own stunts. So it was like jumping out of like cars on fire and me crawling underneath it and like the oh, stuff that fun. I feel like you would love to oh yes yeah you would kill it, You'd be oh, so yeah. it. <laughs> you would be so good um let's see let's see someone said okay do you have okay it says what's your funniest experience on set do you have one that you can think of I, I actually I don't do I have so many but like I have to think really hard because I have I'm like a lot of one too I don't know why I picked that one if I can't even come up with an answer to it <laughs> <laughs> let me see if uh, a better one you tell them let's see let's see we'll take this moment to think um, <laughs> hold on uh all right I have a question for you I'm switching okay. it okay <laughs> Bailey asked McKenna, okay, your voice is gorgeous, Thank and you. you are so good at anything that I, I, I've decided you just could physically touch anything, and it turns out beautifully, so <laughs> that's my theory yeah. of you. Um, I love music. I've always wanted to do music, mm -hmm. and I've always found, like, writing, especially away from home and all of that is so therapeutic, so in my dream world, what I would love to do is, like, act, but then also get to do my own music and share it do you have any interest in that do you see yourself doing that at any point? yes yeah yes yeah. I do I, I just do. recent I just during quarantine whenever it first started yeah. I got a brand new songwriting book because I ran out of room in my first one so now I've just been like going for it it's so much fun <laughs> it's actually just sitting on the ground opened with a pencil on it in case just in case <laughs> then I have like a bunch of instruments over here on my wall. So what do you and have? I, have a I everything probably. I take this with me. My what room's a wreck. Like? I have my dad's old guitar because okay. he got a new one. Then I have my electric ukulele. Cool. I have 
this guitar that was my first guitar, my Wait, favorite ukulele. That is so cute. Love it. Um, a, another guitar that has a res resonator in it, a banjo lele, a 10 string. And then in here, I have my keyboard. McKenna, you have to teach my electric me. guitar. Can you just be my virtual teacher? Will you teach me guitar? <laughs> I'm sure. Dead serious because I have I have a guitar, and I've been trying to learn how to play it all through quarantine. And it's like me on an app trying to figure it out. But I feel like you could just whip me into shape. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I I'm trying like to learn guitar for quarantine too. Um, is there is there one that you always travel with? Is it always your ukulele? Is that kind of what um, you take? Yeah, for Ghostbusters, I brought um, a guitar because we were there for so long. And yeah. then I also brought a ukulele. So I either bring just a ukulele or a ukulele and a guitar. And yeah, for Ghostbusters, I, I also rented a keyboard. <laughs> so right. I have all my instruments there. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. It's so, it's so interesting because... I mean, I feel like you and I, when did you, when did you first start, start? How old were you? Ooh, I moved out to LA whenever I was like six turning seven. Right. So probably like then. Then, yeah. Yeah. So you and I are in a similar thing. Like I did my first thing when I was five, but then British Terpithia happened. I turned six and then it was like, go, go, go from six on. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it is one of those things where when you're away for a long time, you have to bring things that yeah. can at least remind you of home. And I remember at first I found that so silly, like that concept of like bringing stuff with you. And then I did Don't Be Afraid of the Dark and Katie Holmes was on it. And she would, anytime I had like a new movie to go off to after, I'd get a care package because I love art. So for me, painting was like my thing. Oh, and I love painting. Like, it would just be like paints and watercolors and arts and crafts. Oh, that's fun. And so my trailer in my hotel room just looked like, like a <laughs> place. And I was like, this is what I love. That's like, so fun. Like, you do, you have to make it homey. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally, I bring like a bunch of stuffed animals, as many stuffed animals as my mom will let me. And I then that. I bring, I bring my pillow. Yeah. Uh, it has like this nice ET pillowcase that my aunt made for me. I and see. I bring a bunch of stuffed animals. I, I, I have to sleep with a face mask for some reason. I don't know cool. why, but I bring that. Good. I mean, I just, I like, I sometimes I'll bring like a small little photo. Uh, I like bring, a friend. I bring so many pictures. <laughs> I bring so many photos. And the first thing I do on like on the first day of filming is the hair makeup trailer. I use their printer and I'm like, can I just print out a few photos? <laughs> and like, sure. and I, just, I just use it and I put them all up in my trailer. I used to always travel with an air box machine, which is like a white noise sound because of hotel mm. sounds. It would always keep yeah. me up. We should my mom and I use our phone apps because yes! we can't because exactly. we have to use that. Exactly, that's so funny. Um, my mom brings candles because she loves candles. So my mom brings like a bunch of candles with us. Tell so. your mom she should get this. I'll text it to her. Is she still in the room? Can she hear us? I think she's watching? in the kitchen. Well, oh she, wait, she might. Mom, be candle. Okay. It's a candle that she wants. Tell to tell her she has to get this. It's violet and vanilla. You have to get violet and vanilla candles. I'll just send it to you. I'm just going to text it. She'll Tell send it to, to you. It. So much easier. She'll love <laughs> it. It's brilliant. Um, well, I love you. And I, I was like, it's going to be 15 minutes, but it's way more than that. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> Oh, no, it's um, so much fun. I'm so happy that you came on. And <laughs> I hope you know, like, genuinely, um, I think I just don't have so many people who, like, get to watch you. Like, you just got you just got the biggest beautiful life and like I am a huge cheerleader of you. I genuinely <laughs> mean that. Like before we even met, before anything, like private conversations in my home being like, she's so good. And I say that to yeah. everyone. So um, that means my, so hope much. Is, my hope is we end up on a set together one day sharing candles so and face fun. masks. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so much fun. I really think that you're the best and you're so amazing. I'm So sorry, sorry, my papa called and I was like, hold no, on. <laughs> I gotta so tell you how much I love you. you. But like, I think that you're so awesome and inspirational. Oh, and so I, you actually visited my best friend who passed away from cancer. You visited her in a hospital I visit did. and she, and she took a photo with you and she would show me that photo. And so like, since then it's just been like, 
it's it's crazy like getting to talk to you and do this with you right now and it's just like it's so special and since then like you know I wanted to get into doing the hospital visits and stuff like that and I have and I've met some really amazing people because know, of that so like thank you. you no thank you for saying that and I I genuinely I did not know that that's such a god thing and I know like that's how you guys are too and that's that just made my whole that just I'm not gonna cry here but like I'll call you but that just made me so happy so thank you and I love you. Um, and um, one, I'm so sorry, but two, I'm, I'm, I'm so weirdly, I mean, that's kind of in a way that she's with us, I guess, like, yeah. in there. So that's a beautiful thing. But mm -hmm. thank you for saying that. And I have, I've been so proud of you because I do see you, I do see you out there and making those efforts and doing stuff. And um, <laughs> that warms my heart because I, I truly am placing all my bets on you in, in the terms of so many different things. So, <laughs> thank you so um, much. You're welcome, and I'm always here. I'll, uh, I'm just gonna, I'll I'm gonna hang up and call you so you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'll talk to you in two seconds. <laughs> okay. Okay. So fun. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. I'm calling you right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>